Hey everyone, this is Tony, the gun guy with Concealed Arms Home Defense. Got a unboxing tabletop review here today that I wanted to show you. It's a uh, firearm that I uh, just picked up. They've uh, been uh, discontinued. It's a uh, from a company called Gerson. They're Turkish. I may be mispronouncing their name, but uh, it's uh, a firearm that a striker fired polymer gun, full size. Uh, it's a model number MC28SA. And just wanted to show you this, give you a little idea about the features and uh, a little bit about the gun and uh, let you know that uh, it's priced right on my site. So if you're interested in a good quality gun that you don't have to spend a lot of money to get into, uh, here's you an option. Uh, again, it's uh, made by Gerson and they're Turkish manufacturer and the model's MC28SA. This is your box that comes in. Uh, you've of course of course you've got your lock you have a brass cleaning brush you have a total of three back straps you have a little this little pin here that uh, it's used to take down your uh, back strap that actually right here you push through a little pin and once you push that pin through you can pull your back back strap off and then you have like I say, three options, uh, small, large, medium. So a little bit about this uh, gun. It is a reverse engineering uh, M&P, Smith & Wesson M&P copy. So if you like the uh, M&P models, then uh, this is a, a way to get into a uh, gun that won't break the bait, that will uh, mimic the uh, M&P features and uh, it's this is a good quality gun and you can get into it um, a lot cheaper so it's polymer striker fired and the uh, trigger on this is a six pound trigger uh, has the uh, picatinny rail has three dot sights on it and they're nice and uh, visible sights there it uh, comes with uh, just the one magazine and it's a 15 round magazine and the slide has uh, serrations here on the back and a little ones here on the front this slide used to have serrations that were just like here on the back but with this particular model they went with just these small serrations up here the uh, excuse me mag release on this is ampy so if you want to change it for a left hand shooter you can do that you can move that this gun just for comparison if you used to look at this area right here it's about the same size as a Glock 19 the only difference is, is that the uh, grip on this is a, a little bit longer but this is pretty much identical to size as a Glock 19. The barrel on this is 4.25 inches. This weighs 1.6 pounds and this is imported by uh, EAA uh, European, oh I forget their actual name, let's see here. Nope. Uh, but anyway they've been importing weapons for a long time in Gerson it's actually been manufacturing weapons since I believe 1994 and this gun originally was uh, manufactured for a military contract and uh, uh, I don't believe it made it but uh, another gun beat it out but this is a good quality gun like I say it's it's made to copy the uh, M&P Smith & Wesson M&P um, I'm going to be selling this gun I think for around $310 and of course I'll have my normal shipping of 25 that's uh, uh, insured so you never have to worry about shipping if it's lost or broken from me I always do insured and only so that's the Gerson MC28 SA if you're again looking for to get into a, a, a good quality made gun here's you an option uh, there's there's uh, a lot of these guns out there a lot of good reviews on them as far as the uh, shooting and quality and so on and again I've looked at this gun and it's it's nice and tight 
They're, the finish on it is great. Um, I haven't seen anything on this that uh, uh, I'd be worried about. And also, you do have your uh, caulking indicator on this. Right here in red. So, there you go. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. And if you got any questions, uh, just leave them in the uh, discussion below and I'll get back, or in the description below, and I'll get back to you. This is just a little short video. I mean, I just wanted to kind of show you the gun. It's just something that uh, we just picked up here. And uh, this is a good option to get into a full-size gun without breaking the bank. So, uh, oh, uh, one other thing I forgot to tell you. Being that this is reverse engineered m &P, this gun will fit um, any m &P holster. So, it's not going to be hard to find a holster for this gun. Uh, you know, it's not like some guns that, I mean, you have to just search high and low uh, to find a, a holster. Um, like the uh, Canik TP9, when that gun came out, it took me forever to find a good holster for that gun. Now there's quite a few out there because that gun's been out for a while. But uh, uh, this one here, you do not have to uh, look hard to find a holster. And also, I forgot to mention, which I think everybody should know, this is a single action trigger. So, and it has no safety on it. So there you go. Uh, again, please like and subscribe. And as always, God bless and have a good day.